Only on News 5, there is a crisis in our city. Homeless mothers and children. Yeah, local shelter says domestic violence, addiction and mental illness, incarceration, and a lack of affordable housing have led to the desperate situation we're talking about. Good morning, Cleveland anchor Katie Eusen shows us what's working to make a difference. As night falls in Cleveland, it's time to head home. But such a place doesn't exist for these families. They're part of a growing population in our city. Homeless mothers and children. Worse yet, there's no room at the inn. All four family shelters in Cleveland are full. This is a, a, a crisis in our city for sure. Linda Uvegas is the chief operating officer for the City Mission, a nonprofit organization that provides faith-based crisis intervention services. They run Laura's home on the west side. It's at capacity. We've had women that have called for 30, 40 days in a row to get in, and there's been no place. They opened a gym at the mission's main campus downtown to serve as an emergency overflow shelter. Just for June and July, we've seen over 500 children and over 240 something women. About 30 women and children will be sleeping here tonight. There are no other open available options in the city of Cleveland for emergency overflow sheltering for women and children. So if not here, where would they go? You don't think like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be homeless. To Monica Hall knows how it feels. It's very stressful mentally. You feel like a bad parent. To Monica aged out of foster care at 18. She started living with the father of her child, but left when he became abusive. You have no friends, you have no family. You don't know where to go, who to turn to. It's literally like you're stuck, you know, just stuck. She's not stuck anymore. She and her kids are at Laura's home. They offer classes, counseling, and resources for children. To Monica's landed a job and is pursuing her dream career to support her family. I would definitely like to be in the hospital um, working as a nurse. Um, in my own home. Tori, we are so thrilled to present the title to this house to you. The dream is a reality for Tori Schuler and her kids. Thank Congratulations. You. I'm gonna give you a hug. The city mission helped her go from homeless to homeowner. The hard work was working on me. Tori is the first Laura's Home graduate to become a homeowner through the mission's New Horizons program. Thank you for being a part of my life mm. and opening doors that I probably would have never been able to. The mission buys a blighted home from the Cuyahoga Land Bank, then partners with a local group that pays for a total remodel. It's a process that takes several years, but the CEO of the city mission says it's working. We have four homes that we have done, and the four families that moved into the home are all well situated in the homes, maintaining, uh, maintaining the homes. We've not lost anybody, so we've got a 100% success rate so far. But he admits they're just scratching the surface. We're looking for church partners, individual partners that'll, labor, that'll come along of us and the land bank and do more houses. For every Tory, there's so many more mothers and children who can only dream of such stability. So the immediate goal is to open up more emergency overflow sheltering for women and children in this city. The long-term goal, of course, is to get them in a home that is all their own. In Cleveland, Katie Eusen, News 5.